Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I want to talk to you today, and I don't want it to be sounding clickbaity, but I swear this is not clickbaity. I believe that what just happened two days ago is quite frankly the last nail in the coffin of the US dollar, and I couldn't be more serious about that. And I'm gonna show you a couple of things, and we're gonna line up some dates, and I think it's it's quite shocking. To be honest with you, anybody that's in the know that has been studying these uh, cycles, studying the difference between real money and uh, fake money, currency, uh, understands what's happening, and nobody's talking about this right now. So first, we're gonna start this. How do petrodollars affect the US dollar? It says, after the collapse of Bretton Woods, the gold standard in the early 1970s, US struck a deal with Saudi Arabia to standardize oil prices in dollar terms. Through this deal, the petrodollar system was born. Now I want you to go down here and check this out. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. It says it right here. The, administra the Nixon administration decided in August 1971 to suddenly and shockingly uh, end the convertibility of US dollars into gold, right? And then it says right here, the petrodollars are paid, okay, so these are key terms, sorry. Uh, the point being is that in 1971, uh, we changed from a gold-backed currency or partially gold-backed currency to an oil-backed currency. And a deal was struck uh, back in the early 1970s when the US reached an agreement with Saudi Arabia to standardize the sale of oil, right? But I want you to realize that it wasn't just a nice thing. They didn't want stability in the oil um, prices. What Saudi Arabia wanted was money and protection. And that came through the full-fledged commitment of the US government to protect Saudi Arabia. And in return, all the oil that Saudi Arabia sold onto the open market through OPEC and any other means necessary would be done in US dollars. And at that point, it was made a law around the world that you could not transact from one country to the next and purchase oil unless it was done in US dollars. And that is why for the last 50 years, we have been able to export our inflation away. Now I wanna keep this very light for people that are new to this, but I wanna explain the very serious significance. So just the other day, um, last week, we had the 50th anniversary of when Nixon took us off of the gold standard. It was technically a partial gold standard called the Bretton Woods Agreement, but that's not the point. The point is, is that the dollar was going to see a future of inflation and inflation it saw. In the late 70s and very early 80s, we saw massive inflation in our country because the fact that now the dollar was not tied to something solid, something secure. The ability to print uh, currency and go hog wild with it uh, went, ran what well, it's, it's been running this whole time, but inflation really uh, exploded until Paul Volcker slammed interest rates, spiked them high to quail inflation. Well, we don't have that kind of uh, ability anymore because the government is so in debt, the consumer is so in debt, corporations are so in debt, we don't have that ability anymore. But this is where I'm getting with, I hope you guys are still on the video, and this is where I believe the dollar has now just died. And it happened two days ago, now this is a, a Twitter from uh, Khalid bin Salman. He stated, I signed an agreement today, this is two days ago, with the Russian Deputy Minister of Defense, Colonel General Alexander Fomin, between the Kingdom and the Russian Federation, aimed at developing joint military cooperation between the two countries. Now, I believe there is a lot more in that agreement than just that. So you remember in 19, in the early 70s, Saudi Arabia wanted protection. And now I believe today, more than ever, they are seeking solid protection. The facts are that Russia and China have formed an alliance called the BRICS nations, with Brazil, India, there's many others. And as a matter of fact, uh, so many others in recent years that uh, the BRICS uh, acronym doesn't even work anymore because there's more and more getting on, on top of it uh, to do uh, swaps do uh, purchases outside of the US dollar. So slowly the dollar has been dying and dying. The last and final frontier for the US dollar has been oil, oil purchases. Now we have seen in the recent past, Iran and other countries try and skirt this by settling oil um, contracts in gold and other uh, currencies 
but they usually get fought back. And today, or two days ago, and it is, and I'm telling you right now, the reason why I feel this is this is a big deal. Quite frankly, I believe it's the greatest uh, news story in 10 years. Uh, is that because it's what they're not reporting that this isn't in the news, and I believe that you are going to see in the coming months documentation come out or or uh, or facts, you know, uh, where you see people spending money that. Oil is going to be starting to be sold outside the U.S. dollar from Saudi Arabia. So I wanted to show you guys this. I hope you guys got something out of this. If you did, if you don't mind hitting the thumbs up. But I do believe this is a continued story we're going to see over the next few weeks. And I wanted to bring this to you because nobody is reporting this. And as a matter of fact, I want to give credit to Jared Tate, the founder and creator of Digibyte. The creator of Digibyte. Uh, thanks, Jared, for putting this out. I'm going to take it bigger. Uh, not that you couldn't, but you know, uh, I think this is, you're absolutely spot on. Uh, this is absolutely huge. So with that being said, guys, I thank you so much for your time. The Economic Ninja is out.